Hi there, and welcome back to the Message Marketing Pod. I'm your host, Chris of Melody from Melody Media, and this is episode 130, eight marketing strategies to help businesses endure economic fluctuations. So with the constantly shifting landscape of economics in Australia and all over the world, businesses today are reminded of their vulnerability to market fluctuations. Trust me, as an SMS business myself at Melody Media, I get it, okay? Me and my team, we always keep a close eye on the news for these kind of updates too, as I'm sure you probably do. Now, all businesses know that these updates about recession talk and inflation, interest rates and downturns aren't just mere buzzwords on news headlines. The way I see it is they are strong reminders for businesses to be super proactive, regardless of what the economy looks like. So my team and I, we've put together some proactive marketing strategy tactics that we use ourselves for these kind of scenarios when things seem or are a little bit tough. So to help your business thrive, even during these challenging economic times, here's a quick guide to unlocking your business's true potential during economic shifts with marketing strategies that empower your business to rise above all of this. So first and foremost, how economic shifts affect businesses? Well, as we all know, Australian economic shifts come in different forms, ranging from inflation to recession to rapid growth. These fluctuations happen in cycles typically, and when they do, it's important for businesses to identify them and react accordingly. See, every movement in the economy is a wake-up call for businesses to shift their focus inward and assess business strategies and operations. If you're here listening after you know, you've know you seen news about shifting inflation or rising interest rates or threats of recession, we're all on the same page here as businesses. And so this is the best time, and I say this again, when the pressure comes on, this is the best time to take action. You see, the reason why it's simple is because consumer behavior also shifts during economic changes. So if you've seen an update about changing economic you know, trends on the news, chances are that your customers have seen it too and probably have reacted faster than you have. This means that they change their consumer behavior as well as their spending habits and priorities. For example, when inflation goes up, consumer confidence typically goes down and they will opt to typically purchase only essentials and refrain from buying items that they don't deem necessary in a general sense. On the other hand, easing inflation generally encourages people to buy more and stock up on goods. So every change in the state of the economy influences the decision making of customers, which means it should also influence the the way that you connect with them. So this is not economic advice or any sort of economic literature or theory. It's just the general idea and things that I have witnessed that most businesses also understand is that economic shifts change people's behaviors. And I shouldn't have to tell you anything new. You know, you probably as a customer and consumer have also proactively done these changes. So when you then go into your business and you put your business hat on, it's important that you understand that this is a typical behavior of customers and people in general. So the question is, how can your business thrive during these economic shifts? A change in the economy can be seen as an opportune time to highlight the value of your business offers. As the trends shift and your potential customers' behaviors change, it becomes more important than ever to look inward and assess how you can be more proactive in addressing these. So here are some business and marketing strategies that I have used myself that help business rise above inflation changes. So let's start with number one. Take your time to review your products, services, and pricing. In cases of inflation changes and pressing economic times, prices become the first thing that customers look at which means your business maybe should benefit from looking at the same thing. Now, I'm not saying that you instantly have to change your prices or I'm not saying that customers immediately just go, oh, well, you know, that prices have to change. Not at all. But in general, this is an opportune time to have a look at these things. So it's not that you just have to go on a discount rage or anything like that. It's about how you can make your products and services seem more appealing price-wise. For example, do you have a bundled package? maybe can be offered or unbundled to be more affordable? Can you create packages that will be more value adding to customers so that therefore they're not seeing you as such a dramatic expense, but actually a smart investment? Or, you know, will one off, once off service offering be more appealing than say a retainer? All of these can be answered through a full understanding of your customers, their pain points and preferences. From there, it's all about pricing strategy and communicating with your 
customers effectively. So the tip here is focus on communicating the value that your products provide rather than emphasizing the price. That's a, one good strategy. Have a look at what your price is communicating and see if there's anything that needs to be adjusted. Number two is collect data-driven consumer insights. The next thing you should do is check what you know and what you don't know about your customers, especially since their decisions and preferences may be at the moment being largely driven by economic changes. So you can utilize data analytics to understand changing behavior, or better yet, ask your customers themselves. Make the data gathering a part of your content marketing and conduct online surveys. This will help you to understand your customers, but also shows them that you value how they feel. So what I'm trying to say here is, in strange economic times that might be adding pressure to your customers, it's important that you have a look at researching and maybe adapting and taking uh, more data-driven decision-making into your processes. You know, maybe on LinkedIn, do a poll and see what people are looking and feeling. And that will also help you make better, more informed decisions around these kind of times. Number three, don't forget to be empathetic. Create genuine connections. This brings me to my next point, which is empathy and genuine connections here. If these economic shifts are bringing uncertainty to your business, imagine what it's doing to your customers. So to show your audiences that you're dependable, regardless of the state of the economy, you can forge empathetic connections through authentic storytelling that acknowledges their concerns. We see this all the time with brands, you know, like bank brands and all of these kind of things that say, we understand, we're there for you. Is this an opportunity for your business to do the same? You know, imagine running a campaign that says, we know that things are tough right now. That's why we've dot, dot, dot. It's just another reason to choose us. Okay. So when there are economic uncertainties and people are feeling the pinch, it's really good to be the brand that is strong and confident, someone that they can trust and rely on. So you can do this by sharing key news updates or highlighting how you can help them during this time. It's really, really important to make sure that you are doing this. It can make your brand the shining light in amongst the clutter and the noise and the scare. Number four is share thought leadership content. Remain top of mind, even if and especially because the market is shrinking during this time and you want to stay at the forefront. Customers will be more cautious with spending and more meticulous when it comes to choosing which option they want to go with. So when you have heaps of thought leadership content that demonstrates your credibility and industry expertise, it will be easier for your customers to choose your brand. Number five, don't be afraid to shake things up, try something different, right? So for instance, transform your marketing game with fresh and creative ideas that will put you on your customer's radar for all the right reasons. You know, for example, you might launch seasonal campaigns, pop-up shops, product demos, interactive installations, anything that will appear to audiences and increase the appeal and will help you connect with customers on a deeper level. Don't be afraid to think outside the box when it comes to marketing during challenging times. It's a really good opportunity to try something new and innovative, and it can be that catalyst that you and your customers need. Number six, boost your omni-channel presence. A great strategy during struggle street times is to be everywhere, right? Because, well, what's the harm in being even more accessible when things are shrinking? Your customers are everywhere today, browsing through different channels where, you know, especially when there's major economic updates. So your brand should be there too. Be proactive across all platforms and channels. For example, pick more social media channels, optimize your website, be active in networking circles. The goal is to be everywhere on everyone's radar. Believe me, it works for Melody Media. When people are finding it tough or there's tough situations and they see Melody Media everywhere, it just makes it easy to choose us. So be that brand right? Set a good strategy, have a look where your customers are, where you can be accessible and be there. Number seven of eight, amplify your personalized marketing. This strategy can be used in conjunction with the previous one. Be everywhere, but also try and keep it personal. Today's audiences are tired of generic content. They want to feel that you know exactly what they're going through. So tailor your marketing efforts to specific economic conditions and showcase your adaptability by addressing local demands and preferences. 
You can also send out personalized emails to reconnect with previous clients or just give your close network relevant updates about the news they wanna know about. For example, I also jump on LinkedIn and I send some voice messages that are very, very personalized from me. So what it means is the person can see that it is me behind the voice message and they go, oh wow, Chris has taken the time to send us a message. It's really important to be personalized right now. People value trust, especially during challenging times, and you can give it to them in this way. And number eight, last but not least, don't forget that these changes affect your team too. During uncertain times, your team will protect your business and be the first line of defense. But for them to be able to do this, you need to equip them with the right tools and resources. So you can invest in, say, training and upskilling your team so they can help your business more and be protected from redundancy. Never underestimate the power of internal communications because during economic times and inflations, often your team will see all their friends, businesses may be making them redundant and there's a lot of different things happening and, and businesses are shifting. So by being transparent and letting your team know how the economic inflation times are changing and affecting your business, they can help you and you can help them. So for instance, I tell my team, we're going through a tough time right now, things are a bit slow. And by doing that, what it does is it helps people go, well, how can we help? It gives them the opportunity to help. And in doing so, they help your business and they can help keep their jobs and protect their careers. And there's nothing wrong with coming together. Like so many times, the Melody Media team have, thank gosh, have come together and helped each other grow and learn. And then we've celebrated our victory when we've overcome those challenging times. So do that for your team. Allow yourself to be a little bit more vulnerable, transparent. Tell your team, you know, we're going through a hard time right now. We need to be productive and really need to come together and support each other. This is a great opportunity to build a strong culture that your team, it'll transcend everything that you've ever seen. So the point of this podcast is that challenging times are normal for businesses. They come and they go. And the essence of these eight marketing strategies that I've shared with you lies in their proactive nature. Whatever the economy looks like, the goal is to stay on your customer's radar and be able to influence their purchasing behavior wherever they may be in the customer journey. Rise above economic changes with proactive marketing, okay? Because economic shifts like these serve as powerful reminders that adaptation and innovation are not nice to haves. They are prerequisites for a resilient business. So remember that thriving amidst economic fluctuations is not just about weathering the storm. It's about harnessing it to your advantage and remaining top of mind while others struggle to keep up, right? And that's not to say that you're laughing at them. It says, look at yourself, Okay, when the market is tough, it is time to be proactive, be innovative, come together and have a look at your team, be proactive with your marketing. Okay, so that's the end of the podcast. I hope this has really helped here. I at Melotti Media myself, I do a lot of innovation consulting and marketing strategy sessions. So if this is something that your business needs, ask me, you know, reach out at melottimedia.com.au or visit christophermelotti.com.au. I can help you by, with consulting and advisory services that can help you get through these, you know, difficult times. I've been through it myself many, many times and I've learned a lot of lessons. That's why I've shared these eight strategies and I want to help you too. So visit our website, contact my team. I can't wait to hear from your brand, your business and how I can help you weather the storm and be proactive with your marketing. So thank you for listening to episode 130 of the Message Marketing Pod. I'm your host, Christopher Melody from Melody Media. Join me in the next episode and make sure you're listening to other episodes of the podcast. There's hundreds of them now and I can't wait to chat again. Thanks again and I'll speak to you in the next episode. 